Despite their individual strength, Hamadryas baboons prefer to travel as a troop. Elephants have a fascinating social structure with the basic family unit called a breeding herd. Polar bears, on average, succeed only once in 20 hunts. When animals team up, it's like nature's ultimate power move. In this video, we're diving into the largest and fiercest hunting groups in the wild, where teamwork, strategy, and pure instinct turn these animals into unstoppable forces. Most of their diet isn't even meat. They've developed grinding teeth in the back to chew tough plants. Get ready to see how some of the most impressive creatures hunt when they join together in massive groups. Number one, shark. Firstly, let's clear a big myth about sharks. Many think they just attack anything that moves, but that's not true. Most sharks are actually pretty chill around people. In fact, you'll see divers swimming nearby, and the sharks usually don't care. Sharks don't see us as food. They're just curious. They only get aggressive if they feel threatened or mistake something for their usual food, like a fish or seal. When they hunt in groups called a shiver of sharks, they're super smart about it. They don't just go wild, they work together. Like and subscribe right now and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. One shark might swim around the outside to keep the fish in one spot, while others dive in to catch them. It's all planned out, not just random attack. So, sharks aren't mindless attackers. They're clever hunters with a good plan in mind. Number two, leopard seal. Seals might seem like the ocean's playful, clumsy swimmers, but don't underestimate them. They're tougher than they look. Seals risk their lives every time they set out to eat. When a shark shows up, seals don't always scatter. Sometimes they'll team up to defend themselves. A group of seals can circle a shark, darting in and out to confuse and even mob it. They'll work together to wear down the shark, making it think twice about sticking around. And here's an interesting fact. Seals are incredibly agile in the water, able to twist, turn, and dodge with ease, which helps them outsmart bigger predators. They use this teamwork tactic to protect each other, especially when younger or weaker seals are around. So while they're not known for being aggressive, seals aren't afraid to stand their ground, even against one of the ocean's top predators. Number three, wild dogs. Meet some of the fiercest pack hunters on the planet, wild dogs. These guys don't mess around. They are all about hunting and teamwork. When they see something they want, they don't just rush in, they've got a plan. They'll spread out and surround their prey, making sure there's no way to escape. It's like a game for them. Sometimes they even dig up the ground to get to their target. You can see how they're going after a warthog and these dogs literally dug it out of its hiding spot. It's crazy. Then they'll keep going, chasing and nipping to wear down the animal. That's how they get the big ones like antelopes and water bucks. They'll run them until they're tired, making it way easier to finish the job. Every dog in the pack has a role, whether it's blocking, chasing or sneaking in from the side. They keep at it until there's no fight left in their prey. It's wild how smart and determined they are. These guys hunt as one solid unit, and it's something amazing to watch. Number four, snow wolves. Snow wolves are absolute legends of the wild, thriving in some of the harshest, coldest places on Earth by sticking together like a true pack. This is the Druid wolf pack, one of the largest and most powerful in Yellowstone. Their pack structure is something to admire. It's almost like a military unit. The alpha wolves lead from the front, setting the pace and direction, while the beta is their trusted second in command, helping maintain order. At the back, the omega wolf, though lower in rank, is essential for keeping peace within the group. When it comes to hunting, these wolves are master strategists. They follow and study their prey, waiting for just the right moment. The strongest wolves take the front during the chase, leading the charge, while others fan out to surround and tire out the target. This way, they can take down huge animals like musk oxen and caribou, animals much larger than themselves. Even young wolves have a role, learning by watching the older ones until they're ready to join in. Snow wolves also have a kind of silent language, using body language to communicate almost like they're reading each other's mind. Number five, hyenas. All right, hyenas might be one of the most underrated animals out there. These guys are tough as nails and way smarter than they look. When they hunt, they don't mess around. You'll see a pack going after a pregnant zebra, they go right in, and yeah, it's brutal. They even get to the unborn calf. But here's the thing, hyenas don't just hunt, they're fierce protectors too. If a lion comes sniffing around, trying to take their kill, they won't back down. You'll see them standing up to lions, fighting tooth and nail to keep their food. They work together like a family, each one knowing what to do. And even if they're fighting off something way bigger, they never give up. People often think hyenas are just scavengers, but that's not fair. They're smart hunters with a lot of guts. 
They'll risk their lives to protect their own, even against the king of the jungle. That's loyalty and courage right there. Number six, whales. These ocean giants have some of the wildest hunting tricks up their fin. First off, we're talking about animals the size of a school bus weighing over 200 tons, yet they move with crazy precision. One of the most jaw-dropping moves is called bubble net feeding. But it's not just a couple of whales doing this, it's a full-on squad operation. A few whales dive down, circling beneath a school of fish, blowing bubbles in a spiral, like a trap. Then, one whale gives a call, and they all rise in perfect timing, mouths wide open to scoop up fish by the thousand. It's a feast that looks like swimming with dinner at the end. But here's a cool twist. Each pod has its own unique style of hunting, almost like regional tradition. Some whales use tail slaps to stun fish, while others will even spy hop, poking their heads out of the water to spot prey. And they have crazy long memories too. Whales remember these techniques for life and pass them on to their young, creating a culture of hunting that's as unique as a human family recipe. Number seven, hippopotamus. Hippos might look like big, lazy blobs, but these beasts casually play with the biggest hunters in the world. These guys stick together in large groups, called pods, often with one big male watching over everyone. They like to keep close, especially when in the water, where they spend most of their day to stay cool. Hippos are actually super protective of each other, and will charge anything that gets too close. Even crocodiles don't mess with a herd of hippos. Hippos are so bold they'll do whatever they want around crocs. Hippos might look slow and cute, but they're surprisingly fast in the water and can outrun most humans on land, and in a group, they are unstoppable. Number eight, orca. Orcas are the ultimate group hunters in the ocean. When they go after prey, they team up in ways that are both clever and intense. One of their most impressive tactics is the wave walk. Here is a seal resting on a chunk of ice. The orcas line up and swim together, creating a massive wave that knocks the seal right off the ice and into the water, straight into their path. They'll keep doing this until they get their catch. That's patience and skill. And here's something wild. Orcas are known to go after even huge whales, targeting their weak spots and tiring them out. When hunting fish, they'll surround and trap them in a bait ball, taking turns diving through the school to eat. Orcas even communicate in a way that seems like teaching, showing younger orcas these expert techniques. They're not just strong, they're ocean geniuses, passing down these tricks from one generation to the next. Number nine, baboon. Baboons are some of the most social and clever animals out there, living in large groups called troops that can have up to a hundred members. Within these troops, they have a strong social structure with leaders and family units, and they communicate using a mix of barks, grunts, and even facial expression. Despite their individual strength, Hamadryas baboons prefer to travel as a troop. Baboons rely on each other for protection when there's danger. They'll gather together, and the strongest baboons will form a protective wall around the group to keep everyone safe. They're also incredibly adaptable and will eat almost anything, fruits, insects, and even small animals. Baboons are known for their cleverness. They can solve problems and have even been seen using teamwork to raid farms or scare off predators. They spend a lot of time grooming each other, which strengthens bonds and keeps the troop connected. Number 10, elephant. Elephants are some of the most powerful and intelligent animals out there, and they're all about family. Elephants have a fascinating social structure with a basic family unit called a breeding herd. It consists of related females, including a mother and her grown daughters with their offspring. In a herd, elephants stick together closely, led by an older female called the matriarch. She guides them, teaching younger members where to find food and water and how to stay safe. They protect each other fiercely. If one elephant is in danger, the whole herd will rally to help. Elephants also have impressive strategies. They communicate over long distances using low frequency sounds that humans can't hear, almost like secret messages. And they're incredibly clever. They remember watering holes, safe paths, and even faces. With their strength, they can knock down trees and even chase off predators if threatened. Number 11, lion. Lions, now these guys are the kings for a reason. When they hunt, it's all about teamwork and timing. They don't just chase anything that moves. They stalk their prey, getting as close as possible before launching an attack. The lionesses do most of the hunting, working together in a tight group, surrounding their target so there's no escape. One might distract, while others sneak up from the sides. It's like they've got this hunting strategy down to an art. A lion's roar can be heard from five miles away. It's their way of warning not to enter their territory. They're not just hunters, they're also protectors. If a threat comes near, the whole pride, 
including the males, steps up to defend. Lions are also super family-oriented, sticking together to raise and protect their cubs. They're powerful, social, and always looking out for their pride, which makes them the ultimate wild family unit. Number 12. Komodo Dragon Komodo dragons are big, powerful lizards, and usually, they like to be alone. Each dragon has its own space and hunts by itself. But if there's a huge meal nearby, like a big carcass, you might see a bunch of Komodo dragons together. They aren't friends, though. Can detect a carcass from four kilometers away. They'll even fight each other over food if they have to. They come together just because there's enough food to go around. When a Komodo dragon bites its prey, its saliva is full of bacteria that can make the animal really sick. The dragon will bite and then let the animal go, following it slowly until it gets too weak. So, they don't really hunt together, but when there's a big feast, they don't mind sharing the space, as long as everyone gets their bite. Number 13. Grizzly Bear Grizzly bears are usually seen as loners, but there are times when you'll find them gathered together, especially around a big food source like a salmon stream. When the fish are running, grizzlies will tolerate each other's company for a while, all lined up in the river, each waiting for a catch. It's a rare bear gathering, and though they don't exactly work together, they respect each other's space to get a good meal. Most of their diet isn't even meat. They've developed grinding teeth in the back to chew tough plants. Individually, these bears are powerhouse. They can weigh up to 800 pounds and have a bite strong enough to crush bone. Grizzlies are also surprisingly fast. They can sprint up to 35 miles per hour. Their long claws help them dig for roots and break logs to find insects. And they even use their sense of smell, which is a hundred times stronger than ours, to sniff out food from miles away. So, whether alone or with others, grizzlies are built for survival. Number 14, Rhinoceros. Rhinos are like nature's tanks, big, powerful, and built to last. They have thick skin, almost like armor, and a large horn on their nose, which they use to protect themselves and dig for food. Although they often look like they're alone, certain rhinos, especially white rhinos, actually enjoy hanging out together in small groups. These groups are usually made up of females and their young, sticking close for protection and company. Despite their heavy build, Rhinos can move fast, reaching speeds up to 30 miles per hour. They're also great at smelling and hearing, though their eyesight isn't so sharp. Rhinos talk to each other through grunts, snorts, and even by marking their territory with scent. While they look tough, rhinos face serious threats in the wild. When they gather in groups, they're safer together, helping each other survive. These gentle giants are key to keeping their grassland habitats healthy and balanced. Number 15. Snake All right. Snakes might not seem like team players, but sometimes they do gather together, especially when it's cold. In chilly places, you can find groups of snakes all curled up in big clusters, called snake balls, just to stay warm. It's like a snake cuddle party for survival. Now, don't expect them to hunt together or share food. Snakes are all about doing things alone. Each snake hunts on its own and doesn't share its meal with anyone else. But in the spring, especially with garter snakes, you'll see big groups of them coming together to find mates. It's a wild sight, tons of snakes all twisting around each other. And here's something interesting. They actually leave scent trails to find each other, almost like a secret map. So, while snakes aren't exactly buddies, they do know how to gather when they need to keep warm or find a mate. Number 16. Bison Bison are amazing animals with a unique way of organizing their herd. When it's mating season, the male compete for mating rights, where the strongest bulls prove themselves through displays of power and even headbutting content. Only the toughest bulls get to mate, which helps keep the herd strong. In big herds, bison create a real force on the plane. They're so powerful and numerous that they sometimes push other animals along with them, almost herding smaller creatures as they move across the land. If there's danger, the herd bands together, not only protecting their young, but also shielding weaker bison from threats. Bison have their own way of talking through grunts and body movements, helping them stay connected and in sync. This silent communication keeps the herd moving as one solid group, showing their power and unity. Number 17, Cheetah. Cheetahs are usually known as solo runners, but there's a twist. Sometimes they do form small groups. You might spot a group of male cheetahs called a coalition sticking together. These groups are often made up of brothers who were born in the same litter and they stay close to help each other, hunt, and protect territory. Working as a team, they can go after larger prey than a solo cheetah would try, making them pretty powerful hunters together. Even though cheetahs are the fastest land animal, they can only keep that speed for short bursts. So, when they hunt as a group, it's a real advantage. They have backup if the first chase doesn't work. 
Seeing them together is rare. Number 18, tigers. All right, here's something you don't often see, tigers working together. Normally, these big cats are solo hunters, but in rare cases like in dense jungles or to tackle larger prey, they'll actually team up. When they hunt together, it's all about coordination. One tiger might sneak up from the front to distract, while the others circle around from the sides or back, creating a trap. Often you will see a mother leading her cubs on hunts, teaching them the ropes. Tigers are great teachers. Cubs learn by watching every move, from stalking to that final pounce. It's not a herd like other animals. It's more like a family, where each tiger knows its role and plays it perfect. And here's a fun fact. When they're together, tigers actually have their own chuffing sound to communicate a friendly noise that sounds like a mix of a puff and a purr. So even though they're known as lone hunters, when they do join forces, it's a rare sight. Number 19, polar bear. All right, polar bears might look like big fluffy giants, but don't be fooled. They're one of the most powerful predators out there. Usually polar bears are solo hunters. They roam huge distances alone, hunting seals by patiently waiting near ice holes. At this time of year, polar bears on average succeed only once in 20 hunts. Seeing a big group of polar bears together is pretty rare and unusual. But here's where it gets interesting. When you do see a lot of polar bears in one spot, it's often because they're running out of sea ice, which is essential for their hunting. Some believe polar bears might be gathering out of survival necessity, staying near limited food sources, or even scavenging together near human areas. They're not typically social animals, so big gatherings might signal a struggle to survive. With their hunting grounds disappearing, they're facing serious challenges. So, when you see a group of polar bears together, it could be a sign of the tough times they're up against. Number 20, crocodile, all right, Crocodiles might seem like lone hunters, but when you see them together, especially in a big group, it's something to watch. Crocs don't usually hunt in packs, but they do gather around when there's a good spot to relax or an easy meal nearby. Now, when food shows up like here where a croc attacks a chicken, things get interesting. Crocs can be pretty greedy, so if one grabs food, the others might try to steal it, but they're smart about it. They know not to mess too much with a croc who's already got a meal unless they think they can take it they'll snap and wrestle. But usually, the one with the prize just swims away to enjoy it solo. Crocs actually have a kind of etiquette around feeding. If there's a lot of food, they'll gather together and might even share in a rough, each one gets a bite kind of way. They're not exactly team players, but they know how to keep things calm when there's enough for everyone. So when they're all piled up in one place, it's less about teamwork and more about a silent agreement. Don't mess with me, and I won't mess with you. These guys know how to keep the peace in their own croc way. Number 21, mongoose. These little guys might look cute, but they're absolute warriors, especially when they're in a group. When it comes to taking down dangerous prey like pythons or venomous snakes, mongooses are fearless. They have lightning fast reflexes, which helps them dodge bites. And in a group, they're unstoppable. One mongoose will jump in to distract the snake, while the others sneak in from the sides, striking with quick bites. Mongoose are like peanuts to the squirrel. Guts of steel make him the perfect housemate. And here's something wild. Mongooses are actually immune to some snake venom, which gives them an extra edge in these battles. They've also got sharp teeth and claws that make it easy to hold their own, even against bigger predators. When they're in a pack, they communicate constantly, making little chirps and squeaks to keep each other in sync. Mongooses are super loyal to their group, often made up of family members. They stick together, not just for hunting, but also for protection. Don't let their size fool you. When mongooses are together, they're a powerful force that even snakes fear. Number 22, zebra. Zebras are amazing animals with their black and white stripes, which help them blend together in a group called a dazzle to confuse predators. When they're in a herd, zebras are always looking out for each other. If one zebra spots danger, the whole group reacts right away, often running in a zigzag pattern that makes it hard for predators to chase them. Zebras stand close together, each facing a different direction so they can watch for threats from all sides. They have a leader, usually a strong male, called a stallion who protects the group, especially the young one. When they move to new grasslands, they stay in a tight formation to keep everyone safe. Number 23, Snow Leopard. Snow leopards are true loners of the mountain. You'll almost never see them in groups, so a herd of snow leopards is as rare as it gets. A large paws give an excellent grip, and that long tail helps her balance. 
These cats roam huge icy territories alone, coming together only to mate or for a mother to raise her cubs. Known as the ghosts of the mountains, they're masters of camouflage, blending perfectly with the rocky terrain. With powerful back legs, they can leap up to 50 feet to catch prey, and their thick bushy tails help with balance and warmth. Snow leopards are perfectly built for their harsh, snowy world. Number 24. Eagles. Eagles are like the special ops of the bird world, seriously skilled hunters with some surprising tricks. For starters, they've got insane eyesight. They can spot a rabbit from over two miles away. But here's something most people don't know. Eagles don't always hunt solo. When they're going after bigger prey like mountain goats or even wolves, one eagle will swoop down to distract while the other dives in for the cat. It's like a tag team in midair. They've also got something called a death spiral. This is a calculated move. Eagles lock talons with their prey mid-flight and spiral down, using gravity to overpower them. And they're not just about hunting on land. Some eagles, like the African fish eagle, have mastered the art of fishing. They'll hover above the water, wait for the perfect moment, and snatch fish with talons that act like fish hooks, right out of the water, barely getting a splash. They can carry prey nearly half their own body weight in the air. Number 25, Buffaloes. Buffaloes are true powerhouses, especially when they're in a herd. They're strong and tough animals, and when they stick together, they can be nearly unstoppable. But here's the thing, they don't always realize just how powerful they are as a group. Sometimes when a predator like a lion shows up, buffaloes will scatter out of fear. Yet, when they do stand their ground, they can drive off even the fiercest predators. In fact, a herd of buffaloes has been known to charge lions, knocking them down and protecting the weaker member. In the herd, there's an interesting setup. The older, stronger buffaloes usually take the lead, guiding the group to new grazing spots and water. Meanwhile, the calves and weaker members stay in the middle, protected from danger. They roam closely together, keeping a steady formation that helps keep everyone safe. When they move as one, Buffaloes are a force to be reckoned with, stronger together than they even know. Thanks for watching these wild powerhouses in action. If you enjoyed this look into nature's greatest hunting team, hit subscribe, give us a like, and stay tuned for more amazing animal mo Let us know in the comments which group stunned you the most. Until next time, goodbye.